I'm excited to be here in Toronto. Toron Torontonians. I love everybody. You know I love you here. You, I hope you know that by now. I declare tonight, I'm here for the visitation that shakes Toronto. It's coming. And when it comes, I'll know that I had a part in it. And when it comes, all will see what the true north is all about. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on. I came to one of your services on June 17th. I had been diagnosed with liver cancer. Liver cancer. And I was going to remove, they were going to remove 60% of my liver and hope that I would have six months or maybe a year. To live. To live. I came to one of your services not for a miracle, but just for peace, for transition, to go from this life to the to next, the next life. You came to be uh, transisted. I wanted to have peace going from here to there. Listen to this. <laughs> I oper they operated on June 29th. Now the tumor was an inch by an inch. And when they went in, they ultrasounded the liver and everything else, and they couldn't find any cancer. Come on. Come on, Pastor Billy. I'm going to pray for you because God's bigger than our expectations. If you're a Christian, yes, get a hold of his word. Speak his word. You're either going to have to speak the doctor's word, the news, the word that comes across the news channel, or we're going to speak his word. And we're smart to speak his word. Trust in the Lord. Why not? How much? With all our might. Talk to your head and say, head, I'm not leaning in your way. I'm leaning in God's way. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean under your own understanding. Just keep acknowledging him. That's really what Molly was doing, coming and acknowledging that there was a God preparing to meet him. But he met her in that service and beautifully, miraculously healed her. I'm praying for you. Put your hand wherever there's a problem. If you're not right with God, call on his name. That's the greatest healing. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, I'm back. Jesus, I'm going to speak your word. Go to the New Testament. Go to Matthew, Mark. Go to one of the scriptures that the great apostle Paul tells us about how to believe God. Have communion. Make things are right with others. Do whatever you have to do no matter how embarrassing it is, and then trust in the Lord with all your might. I'm praying for you right now. Put, come on, get ready, get into agreement. In the name of Jesus, I speak to this circumstance. Whether it be in your family, I speak to the circumstance. I'm in agreement with you. Things are going to adjust. Whether it be in your job, I'm in agreement with you. Oh, no, nothing's going to ever be perfect, perfect, but we're going to get an adjustment. Things are going to change. In your body, we're going to get a healing. We're going to get adjustment. We're going to have things come into order. God, you created this body to work properly because we got things to do and they've got things to do and I'm agreeing with you right now put your hand there be healed be whole be strong not in anybody's name but the name of Jesus Jesus Jesus